Yes, good afternoon our dear learners. You welcome to this platform. This is Light Academy Nasara Primary School. Uh, just like we have already started this arrangement of posting some work, lessons on some of the work which was previously covered and some work which is not so far covered. So at this moment, this is Teacher Robert presenting a lesson in Primary 4. I'm going to talk about something that has already been covered in some other classes. But for the case of this term, this topic had not been covered yet in Primary 4. So I'm here to do something about this topic, and the topic is Operations on Numbers. So our dear learners, under Operations on Numbers, just like you saw it in the previous classes, when we talk about operations on numbers, numbers, it's something which is becoming obvious. But when we talk about operations, we are meaning, what do we do with the numbers? If I've not forgotten, in your primary five, three, in primary three, you must have looked at the different operations that we use in mathematics. But I can use this very moment to repeat or to remind you on the operations you used. You looked at these operations. The first one was addition as the first operation. Its symbol is written like this. This is addition. The next one is subtraction. Subtraction. Its symbol is written as this. We are also having another operation which is a multiplication multiplication which is written as this we are having another operation which is division which is written as this our dear boys and girls you've always seen these operations right out from primary one primary two primary three and in primary four we are going to see the same However, we shall see some changes, just like if you leave one class, you go to another class, much as the topic is the same, the content might a little bit changed. So these are the operations, the basic four operations that we use in mathematics. So when we are dealing with numbers, we can either add them, or we can subtract them, or we can multiply them, or we can divide them. As for this lesson, presented by Teacher Robert today, I want us to draw our attention first to look at addition that you have always been doing. So I will start from addition of numbers. Addition, addition, addition of numbers. Addition of numbers. This is what I'm going to talk about today first. So when you look at the word addition, it has some other sister words. If I use the word addition, I mean there are some other words that we commonly use. So all along from primary one, you see the other words that we can use to mean addition. And these words are, we have in the first one as sum. We can also have another one as total. We cannot serve another one. These words are common all together. All together. So these other words I've just written down, they can be used to mean addition. I can say, find the sum of one and two, meaning add one and two and get the answer. Or I can say, find the total of six and ten, meaning I must add ten and six, and I get the total. Then we can also use the word all together in a certain word statement. When you read a statement, for example, someone can say, John had two mangoes, and Sarah had three mangoes. How many mangoes did they have all together? So that statement means we must do some addition. So this is what we are actually going to look at for this lesson. So in the first examples I'm going to give, oh, before I go to the other example, in some other classes, the previous classes, you had some addition of this kind. 
So, for example, these are some of the numbers you were adding. We can have this one, the first one. They can say, they used it to say add. They give you like this one. Five plus three. In some other classes, the likes of primary three, they could set such questions. In primary two, they could set such questions. How best would you answer these questions? You would simply use some counters. For example, in this aspect here, I'm going to use these books here. I can use some of the books. I'm going around here. I can change this question a little bit. Let me use it three, or let me use it three and three. So the first question, for example, they are saying add three plus three. What am I supposed to do? For example, in primary three, you could count. I'm having, I'm using books here. I'm having three books. One, two, three. These are three books for the first number. Then I will add another three books. I'm having some other three books. One, two, three. So to add them is to put them together. These are three books. These are three books. When I put them together, I count them all. What I get becomes the total after adding them. So I can count these ones together after adding the three books to other three books. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So all of them together are six. Therefore, in primary three, you could even say, I'm saying three can be represented by any object. I'm going to use the sticks. For example, this is one, two, three, plus other three st sticks. This is one, two, three. When I count them all together, the answer I get becomes six. This is what you used to do in classes of primary two and primary three. However, since this is the primary four, we are going to change a little bit. The question might not basically come in this order. But in primary four, we shall emphasize what we are calling place values. When we are adding numbers, we must be extra careful of arranging the digits in their right place values. For example, in primary four, they can set such a question. They can say, work out work out the following work out the following uh -huh. this is the 234 plus 123 these are two numbers that we must add and get their total so in this question here at a people level what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to look at these numbers and organize them vertically. So what do I mean by vertically? I will simply come and say the first number is 234. Okay? I can give the place values basing on the first number I've written to allow me add the following number following the right place values. This is under the one's place value, under the tens place value, the hundreds place value. The place values are given from the right hand side to the left hand side. So after writing the first number, to write the second number, I will come to the second number and start also giving the digits their place values. The first number is under ones, under tens, and under hundreds. So for that case, I'm going to organize the second number below the digits of the first number, but following their correct place value. For example, number three is under ones. So I'm going to write it just below number four because even number four is under the ones place value. So I will have this one written as a three under the ones. Number two is under the tens place value. Therefore, I'm going to write it under the tens place value here. This one becomes a two. Then number one is under the hundred place value. I'm going to write it just under the hundred place value. It is very important 
to always remember to put in an operation. So the operation we are using is addition. So from there, I'm going to do up my get my answers through addition. So this is what I'm going to do. We shall have this one here. You can choose to use the counters. You can even come to the sidewalk. But at this moment, we can actually simply make this one addition very fast and assume that these ones are for oranges plus three oranges. What do I get together? I will get seven. So the answer is seven down under the ones. Then you put the times replace value. What number is seen? We are having three plus two. When I add the three plus two, the answer button is five. Then I'm having under the hundreds. When I add two plus one, the answer comes to three. So our dear learners, this will be the answer after adding these two numbers. We should draw a lot of attention on organizing numbers in their corrective place values. Yes, that was the one. Then I can go to the next example. I can give another one, number three. This same round, allow me to give it in terms of words. Like I can say, Sarah, Sarah had 356 apples. And Jen had 39 apples. Okay, the question says, how many apples, how many apples did they have all together? All together. Remember, this is a primary four. This one has been set as a wordy question. It's a little bit different from the, the second example I've given. They are saying Sarah had 356 apples and Jen had 39 apples. How many apples did they have all together? You remember at the beginning of the lesson, I said when we are adding, we are having some other sister words that can be used to mean addition. The words you can use Apart from addition, are uh, sum, total, and this word all together. So in this last example here, they have used the word all together. Meaning, what I'm going to do is one, I will get the apples that were possessed by Sarah, I will add them to the apples that Jane had. So when I put them together, I will be in position to get the total number of apples that was actually had by both the Sarah and Jen. So in the first place, I'm going to organize this one here for Sarah. Vertical arrangement. So I will have this one written. Sarah had 356. Okay? And these ones are apples. Okay? Then go, since Jen had the 39 apples, remember that place values are very important in this class. So I will first, based on the first numbers I've written, to identify the place values. So the first number from the right is under the ones. The second one is under the tens. The third one is under the hundreds in place value. So this one will assist me add the other 39 apples for J. 39 has two digits, three and nine. Therefore, I will start giving these digits their place Values. Therefore, since 9 is the first digit from the right, I will put it under the ones, which is just below number 6. So this is a 9 here. Then 3 is under tens. So I'm going to put it just under the tens. Don't forget what we are adding are apples. Okay? Just like I said, we must be careful of that operation. They say it all together, meaning we are going to add this. So we shall come and get our answer just from here. That this one. So for example, I said 
When I want to When I want to add these numbers here, I said the addition starts from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we will be in position to either pick sticks, pick books, or some other resources and use them to add these numbers. But since we are after progressing we and before, we can simply have this one added and say, if I'm having the six, I add some nine apples, the total gotten is 15. So what I'm getting is a 15. But I cannot write the whole 15 just under this one. What I'm supposed to do, I will simply take the number, the last digit, which is a 5. I write it here. Then I take this number 1, the first number to the next place value. So I'm just going to use either pencil and I put this one here. Then I will come and say, the one I've brought here plus my 5 becomes 6. 6 plus 3, the answer got 10 is 9. Then this side, under the 100 simplest value, I'm having one number, and this number is 3. Therefore, the answer I've got 10 is 395, and these ones are apples. So this kind of addition also applies in primary four, where you get a bigger number, you take some and you leave some. So we shall look at more of such kinds of questions during our stay in primary four. So I want us after to stop at this palace lesson, but of course at the end of it all we shall be able to see some numbers for you to try out during your time. So I want to thank you for being attentive for this lesson. I remain teacher Robert Knight Academy. Stay warm, wash your hands, and stay safe. Thank you so much. Meet next time.